Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to explain you about how to install uh, Apache Spark, which is an in-memory distributed computing framework on the Ubuntu operating system. So it is going to be a step-by-step -step approach uh, explanation of the installation. Uh, please follow this uh, video. If you have any question, please post it on this comment section of this video. I'm happy to help you. Let's get started. Uh, so the first thing what you are going to do is, uh, what is the prerequisite for installing Apache Spark on Ubuntu? So the first prerequisite is you need to install uh, uh, Java on the Ubuntu operating system, which is uh, uh, JDK, uh, Java uh, Development Kit. So either you can install Oracle Java, uh, Oracle Flavor of Java or Open JDK. So I installed Open JDK uh, uh, 8 version. So you can uh, follow my previous video uh, how to install those uh, software. And also you need to set the Java home environment variable on uh, .bashrc file which will be in home directory. So if you want to verify, just verify echo, uh, just run at uh, echo uh, dollar home on your terminal. So to open a terminal, just press Control Alt T uh, in your keyboard, or you can open the click on the terminal window icon and open it. So let's uh, run this command. Then, uh, so I set this path already. So it is uh, showing me the uh, Java uh, 8 uh, uh, installation location. And also, you can verify by running this uh, Java version command, Java space version. So I installed open JDK 1.8.0 uh, underscore the minor version 3, uh, 382. All right. So this is uh, uh, fulfilled. The next uh, prerequisite is you need to install uh, uh, Python. So I have installed uh, uh, Anaconda uh, Python, uh, Anaconda of, uh, distribution of Python or Anaconda flavor of Python. Uh, you can go with even classic Python as well uh, if you wish. The, the minimum requirement is it should be uh, greater than 3.7. So that's a minimum requirement. To verify the Python version, uh, you can run this command. So Python 3.11.5 is installed. Uh, that's good. Um, so you can also verify the if you install Anaconda Python, uh, you can by default install on home directory or you can choose whatever the directory you want to install. I kept it in my home directory. So it is installed on this uh, location. So all right, this is also fulfilled. So once uh, uh, JDK and uh, uh, and Python is installed, uh, next is uh, either you can go with the Scala version or without Scala version also you can go. I um, mean Scala uh, programming language installation. So. I am actually going to install uh, Scala as well as the SBT, which is a simple build tool for uh, Scala. Okay, so you can go to this uh, um, uh, website to uh, download the uh, SBT uh, software. So first, I am going to install the um, um, Scala um, Scala um, programming language. So you open this uh, scala iphone lang dot org website. Um, then scroll down to uh, this. Okay, so you can download uh, uh, either. Uh, so there are two major version. One is uh, uh, Scala 2.12 uh, and uh, Scala 2.13. So you have uh, uh, both the software. So you can you can download any um, um, any one. So uh, Spark is uh, built uh, uh, on top of uh, Scala 2.12 as well as 2.13. I'm going with the 2.12, uh, which is little stable version than the uh, 2.13. Uh, but uh, your wish, you can you can go. So, so you, you can you have to choose accordingly the uh, build version of uh, Spark. When you install the Scala uh, 2.12, then download the uh, build version of uh, um, uh, the the Spark uh, version, which is built on uh, 2.12. Okay, so this is downloaded. So you can download. Uh, uh, so based on uh, your uh, um, operating system, you can download. So you can download uh, uh, .db and then install. That is one way. Uh, I'm actually going to install. I'm going to download this uh, uh, tzz uh, format. It's uh, very easy to install. So just uh, uh, right click on this uh, file and get the um, link address then uh, just verify which path you are in i mean i think home directory just download this using the wget command so wget that followed by that path of that uh, uh, scala binary file 
So it is going to take some time based on your internet bandwidth. So minus, uh, to, uh, so this file is around 20 MB only. So it's downloaded. Um, just uh, just make sure it is downloaded. Yeah, I see this file. So I am managing all my software under uh, OM um, data making. Data making is my username. Inside that work area and under that I have software folder. So I'm managing all my softwares there. So I'm just uh, moving this file to that location. Once it is done, just go to the location and extract the file. So almost that is uh, uh, very basic things you do. Uh, CD that location, then do LS, LR, T, or LS. So, so we have a Scala here. Just run this command to extract the file. So tar space hyphen xvzf followed by the file name. So we installed uh, Scala 2.12.18. Okay. So it is installed, I just learned unless. So you see here Scala 2.12.18. Uh, now we need to just check the, st to set the, uh, sorry, uh, set the Scala home uh, to the your installation location. So this is my installation location. Just uh, verify that using ls command. Yes, I have a bin folder inside bin folder. I should be seeing the Scala interpreter. Okay, and I have a Scala as compiler as well. So that's good. So you need to set this Scala home on your uh, dot bash rc file. The dot bash rc file will be in your home directory. To access the home directory, either uh, um, you can just say slash home uh, slash data making, which is my username, or you can use tilde, which is similar like home directory. So open this file, dot bash rc file. Just go to the end of the file, add your uh, Scala home uh, environment variable. So so you just add this environment variable, then add that environment variable to the path variable, which is uh, uh, the operating system uh, uh, environment variable. Just control O, enter. It is updated the file, control X to come out of this file. So to refresh this file, you can uh, hmm, uh, run this source command, or you can just close this terminal window and reopen the terminal window. Uh, both should be fine. Okay, so if you just type a Scala, you should be going to see a live mode. Okay, so this is good. I think uh, colon q u i t. Yeah. So we are here. Um, so now the next step is to install the uh, what is this uh, SBT uh, uh, utility, which is for uh, uh, basically if you are building a Scala based application. Uh, the dependencies are uh, um, downloaded based on the SBT. Uh, so you will provide the dependence in the SDP, SBT file, dot SBT file, build dot SBT file, and all dependencies will be downloaded using this SBT tool. Okay, it's a build tool. So you can get it from this location. Uh, sorry, this um, URL. Just go to this URL. So again, so you see here. Uh, so there are multiple uh, version of it. You can download whatever version. So I'm just, I think I'm going with the latest version or the prior to that. So 1.9.6, uh, okay. Uh, uh, you can also 1.9.7 also you can choose. Whatever is, if you want, you can choose. So already I put 1.9.6, so I'll just go with this. Uh, take this path. Okay, I'm going to, Again, do the wget to download that. So just wget run this command. It's 45 MB, so it's uh, downloaded. Um, then again, you move to the software location. Okay, it is done. So then go to this, uh, sorry. Yeah, this go to this location. Um, then followed by run this uh, extract command. It is extracted. You see this SPT file over here. Folder, sorry, folder here. That's good. Again, set this SPT home by go to this uh, open a nano editor with uh, using nano editor, open this dot bash rc file come to the bottom of this page, sorry, file, and paste this uh, two lines of uh, code. So 
sbt ohm you just put that uh, uh, sbt extracted folder uh, then save it um, then you can just ref run this command to refresh it or you can close this terminal window then open a new terminal window now i'm going to start installing the spark so you can down go to the spark uh, uh, spark.apache.org website and uh, you can choose uh, the required uh, version of it so the latest version is uh, um, uh, 3.5.0 that's what i'm going to take and uh, it is built uh, uh, pre-built for uh, hadoop 3.3 .3 and later version so i installed hadoop as well so if you want to follow uh, how to install Hadoop and other components, uh, please refer my previous videos. I given the step by step approach. And then now we are going to click on this. So so if you want to go with the other version, you can choose. Um, and then uh, this Hadoop 3 is uh, pre-built on uh, um, uh, 2. Point, just Scala 2.12 and uh, even from Scala, uh, sorry, Spark 3. Point, uh, from Spark 3.2 it is also built on top of uh, uh, 2.13 so it has both uh, uh, um, compatibility that's not an issue so now let's, let's um, take this uh, url uh, go to copy this uh, i think this if you click on it will sorry if you click on this uh, um, url just uh, it will open this and then take right click on this um, so you will have dlcdn.org right click on this copy this link address and then download it so so i already taken this um, just downloading this using the wget command so definitely it'll take some time because uh, it is 382 mb of uh, file uh, so again it's based on your internet bandwidth it will take some time okay let's wait for that it's almost done okay so just do ls make sure you have that uh, compressed file this is the the spark framework or software or uh, whatever you call it okay so library so basically binary file okay which is a software is inside that so just again move to this uh, um, uh, software location um, then go to this software location and extract the binary file So tar hyphen x v z f. Uh, what is this? Spark hyphen 3.5.0 hyphen bin hyphen Adobe 3 dot t uh, g z. Okay, so extract this file. Once this extraction is done, you see the folder called uh, Spark 5.0 hyphen bin hyphen Adobe 3. So this is our uh, Spark uh, installation location. Again, set this uh, Spark home. Okay, so open this bash rc file using nano editor. Uh, in the bottom of the screen, uh, sorry, bottom of the uh, um, file, paste this uh, Spark home. This is very important because uh, when you when you want to access any um, spark clis like spark shell pi spark this spark home should be uh, a set and when you do the development using id like pycharm or uh, uh, vs code or uh, intellij uh, so this if the if you set this spark home uh, all things will be smoother right so the spark export spark home equal to the location just make sure this location is correct that's a uh, main thing you do it just open new terminal and just make sure it's, it's there okay so inside that you just check bin and sbin files are there uh, so because we are going to use multiple uh, uh, files inside those uh, folder so oh, i am setting this path uh, spark home path then control o enter control x now just uh, run the source command to refresh the bashrc file now you should be i'm just clearing the screen you should be uh, able to access the spark shells so like spark submit 
submit uh, this command will be used to submitting your uh, a spark job to the spark cluster so you can check the version hyphen hyphen version so i am installed with the spark version 3.5.0 so we are using a uh, scala 2.12.18 and the jdk is 1.8.0 um, underscore 382 so all are set uh, you can also launch a spark shell cli which is where you can write a scala code which is a, a um, scala code of uh, uh, spark apis okay so so you, this will launch you it's similar like scala um, cli and uh, you can access the spark apis which is written in uh, so basically spark uh, uh, framework is written in scala so you can access all the apis using a scala uh, programming language and if you so you can just uh, so as uh, see so you have a spark context here uh, spark uh, in spark variable you have a spark session object so there are many things you can do here so so when we work on uh, scala based spark project we will uh, uh, do uh, some stuff here so i am just uh, quitting for now uh, so other clis are like uh, pi spark where uh, i am uh, uh, more focused over here so 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 again pyspark is a command line interface uh, uh, or uh, command line interface nothing but it's an interactive uh, way of accessing your uh, spark uh, apis so here you can just say uh, spark dot uh, um, spark context dot app name uh, app name so the app name is we launched pi spark shell which is the app name so you are getting pi spark shell so we will be writing a lot of pi spark code so if you want to uh, this pi spark cli is used for quickly check some uh, code snippet and or uh, verify some number of things uh, but if you want to develop as end to end application you develop as a standalone application so you have to write a, a python program and uh, make use of uh, uh, spark apis and then uh, submit it using the spark submit command so that's how you do in the real time so this one you can exit out of this command so again spark r is the cli for uh, running your uh, um, i think you need to uh, we need to install uh, uh, it says spark uh, r command not found okay let's check this location does it have um, so go to the bin folder i think capital letter r okay just i'm just changing my note so so uh, spark r basically uh, you can access the spark api uh, using a uh, so for this you need to install r programming language so which i have not done it so if you want to use spark r you need to install the um, r programming language and then use the spark r so uh, my focus area is uh, on uh, pi spark and uh, some use case i will develop using a uh, spark with the scala spark or i am not uh, 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 using for any use case development if if something comes in future we will do that as well okay uh, i hope uh, this video is helpful to install uh, apache spark so i have given you uh, 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 sufficient information i hope so if you have uh, again if you face any issues or any challenges please uh, uh, reach out to me uh, and put your uh, uh, questions or feedback on uh, comment section of this video i'm happy to help you thank you so much friends